Hello friends and welcome to your daily insight reading with me intuitive Renee. Today is Thursday the 5th of November 2020 and I already have shuffled and laid out cards to help us get the insight and the energy for the day ahead and the tarot deck that I'm working with today is the Spirit Within Tarot and it is just such an awesome deck and this whole week I have been working with the Oracle of the Dragon Fae to give us insight as well and really awesome cards awesome messages so let's get straight into it and see what the energy of the day is what do you need to be aware of and what do you need to know so we have another night we've had quite a lot of court cards this week um which is quite interesting and here we have the knight of pentacles I love the lawnmower in the background so you can see the green and green is the color of money it's the color of material possessions and all of those kind of things and knight of pentacles is about getting getting down to business you know they really that's what it is it's about recognizing the chores of life the things that need to be done and yeah i'm sure he doesn't really want to be mowing the lawn i'm sure he'd much rather be doing other things but he recognizes the significance and the importance of getting the things done that are needed to in order to have a beautiful garden you know he recognizes the effort that needs to be put into achieving um you know uh, uh, he wants to have a, a, a gorgeous garden he wants to have a beautiful home he wants to be able to be proud of his home and his surroundings and everything that he has so he recognizes or excuse me he recognizes the effort that needs to be put into it so it's difficult it's not easy and when he's doing it he may be quite unhappy and be wishing it was over and wishing it was done but he still prods on and gets done because he wants to be proud he wants to be successful he wants to have a beautiful home and there's nothing wrong with that you know the his neighbors may look at him and say oh look at him making his garden pretty but when they say horrible things when when they judge him for what he's doing it's because that they're jealous that his place looks better than theirs it's because they're jealous of his energy and his vitality and the fact that he takes pride in everything that he does because he really does he takes pride it's interesting i've had this deck for many 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 years and i've worked with it so much and i suddenly notice he's wearing long pants i don't know why that's relevant right now but you know it's like he's you can see he's got a t-shirt on you can see that he's got long pants it actually even looks like he may even have a collar um, a, shirt, a collared shirt on and the reason why that stands out for me today the reason why that seems to be important is because he's dressed well even for the chore of mowing the lawn even for just you know doing i'm going to call it dirty work you know going through that kind of maintenance work that he needs to do he's still dressed well because he's got so much pride and that's you today you need to be full of pride pride today you need to be so confident with everything that you've achieved and everything that you've uh, um, done in your life and recognize that yes sometimes we have chores that we have to do that don't always appeal to us that don't always seem to be fabulous and and sometimes we wish we didn't have to do them but as soon as it's done you're going to have this happiness as soon as it's done you're going to have this joy in your heart let's see what our second card has for us okay three of swords energy and three of swords energy is typically the heartbreak card so you can see here we have a plaster over the heart you can see there's a little bit of blood dripping off there but what i what i see from this card is the light that's illuminating from behind him it's almost like this light coming out from behind him and the three of swords it's saying to you that you know again let's go back to this chore let's go back to the things that we have to do that we don't always want to do but recognizing our pride remember i mentioned earlier on about our our people who look at us and question and judge us and who criticize us for having so much pride and for going through and doing the things that we do it obviously hurts okay it obviously hurts so you may be finding people overly criticizing you today you may be feeling as if you are being judged you may be feeling as if people are just picking at you all the time and it is breaking your heart it is certainly impacting on you today and you know what i think what is evident here is that you just stand tall both of them are standing very tall yes he's got his head slightly bent but he's still quite confident and he's still quite tall and i think that's relevant and i think that's the important thing for all of us today so recognize that we have to do things yes people are going to be nasty people are going to be horrible you may have to you may have to put a band-aid on your injury put a band-aid on your broken heart on the pain that you may be suffering today but don't let that stop you from carrying on and doing the things that bring you joy the things that you are happy about the things that you are proud about and that you are living your best life okay because that is what is most important let's get straight into let's have a look and see what um the oracle of the dragon fae has to say oh look at that oh how beautiful 
Doesn't that just make it all look okay? Doesn't that just make it all feel all right? We've had two two cards here that maybe have left us feeling a little bit broken hearted, a little bit heavy, and now suddenly we get this beautiful card. Um, and the message is love who you are. Love who you are. Because who you are is absolutely quite awesome. Who you are is absolutely quite phenomenal. And yes, even though that there's pain and suffering, even though people can be so cruel and so hard and so nasty, you are absolutely awesome and you are absolutely beautiful and you need to love who you are. I want to read a little bit from the guidebook to, to give you an idea of uh, the message coming from this oracle. It says, you may be facing rejection from others, particularly due to traditional family, religious, or cultural expectations. And that's that card over there. Being taught, sorry, being thought of as unacceptable in some way. That's the pain. Struggling to fit into an environment that only loves part of who you are. Finding people want you to hide some of who you are so that you fit in with them. So that is why she's saying, you know, love who you are because you're never going to please everybody. You're never going to make everybody else around you happy, okay? And yes, this hurts. And yes, this causes pain and discomfort. But recognize that, you know what, it's time that you embrace who you are, love who you are, and move forward with love and happiness. So friends, that's the message for today, 5th of November 2020. I do hope you have an awesome day with love and blessings from my heart to yours. And we'll see you tomorrow for your pick a card. Take care, lots of love.